Hello everyone, uh, this is Kirsty, obviously in the garden. Um, we are here today, we're going to be doing our food bags. Along with the food bags, we're also going to have little activity packs. Um, the activity packs are going to be part of our Stockwell Roots project, so we're going to ask you to do something African and crafty each week. Um, if you don't get an activity pack, please try and do this at home. Um, it's very, very simple and straightforward and everybody can join in. So today we are going to be making an African necklace. Um, this type of African necklace would have been used in ancient Egypt, but also um, Maasai warriors and people of the Maasai society in East Africa would wear this style of necklace. So we're going to ask you to make that. So in your pack, you will have wedged in well, thank you, Hannah, a paper plate. And if you haven't got a paper plate at home and you don't get a pack, just use cardboard. You'll also get um, a lit little activity sheet just explaining how you do it step by step and some basic information about these necklaces. So you'll need a paper plate, some scissors, pens or paint, whatever you want to do to colour it in. Something to draw around to make your next circle. Um, so that's what we're going to go with first. So your first step one, let me just secure this against the wind because it's a bit blowy today, is you're going to make your circle. So you're going to turn your paper plate upside down. You're going to put on whatever you want to use to make the circle, the next circle, and you're going to draw around it. Very straightforward. Okay, so then you are going to just cut from the top. The birds are saying hi and cut around your circle. Can I just say it's so nice to be in the garden without listening to the building site next door. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the garden so quiet lately. Um, so yeah, I'll just cut around there. I think I've actually got two paper plates. How wasteful of me. Um, so you're going to cut around this circle and then you can adjust it if you find you need a bigger gap. Two paper plates does make it slightly trickier. So that is going to be your gap. Now, as you can see, I need a bigger gap to get it around my neck. So just cut away at the neck to create a bigger gap. Now, you can make a bigger circle if you want. This style we thought looked more like a Maasai necklace with the larger hole, so then it really sticks out like that. Um, whereas this was more like an ancient Egyptian shape, okay? And then you are literally going to decorate it however you want. So you can paint or you can glue things to it if you have those things at home, or you can just color it in and do different designs on it. Um, the most important thing, you make it as bright and colorful as possible. Um, in very, very ancient cultures, color was really, really important. In our world, color is really, really important. Bright colors are what we want to see, especially when it's kind of overcast, you're indoors, it's all a bit gloomy. So put some bright colors in there, guys. So I'm just going to color this in and then we'll have our African necklaces and film the stray cat. <laughs> So in your pack, you are going to have a toilet roll. I hope you have toilet rolls because everyone's freaking out about these. But if you have a toilet roll, you can also make a wrist cuff. So you can either cut it in a straight line. Basically, we've done this. We can just show you we've just done a nice pattern. You can cut a straight line down the middle here and just wear it as a wrist cuff like that. Uh, usually this type of jewellery would be made out of beads, so make it bright and colourful and you can make it look as decorative as possible. But please send us pictures to go on the WhatsApp so we can see what you've made. See you later guys, take care.